Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel at Design with Maha. In today's vlog, we will be learning about how to create a motion guide for a particular animation path in Adobe Animate CC software. So as you can see, I have the required pictures towards the right side in my library. So do take the required background and the required animation objects you need for this particular animation. I have a car and a background for it. So we have a background. So my layer 1 is going to act as my background. Let me drag and put it inside the stage. And with the help of free transform tool, I'm just going to resize it equally by holding shift in my keyboard. So as you can see, I have adjusted this particular background inside my stage like this. This is how my layer 1 is going to be. In order to check if the background is compatible for your stage, you can just go for Ctrl Enter and check if it is available inside the screen. And now let me create another layer. Layer 2 is going to act as path. Once you give this option layer to path, immediately click onto this dialog box and give the option guide under the option call type and just give an OK. This is how the path will immediately change into and now go for the brush tool or pen tool or pencil tool and create a path however you want. As you can see, I'm just creating a path like this with all ups and downs in order to show you how this motion guide will work. You can create however your path you want it to be or however your object want it to be uh, in order to move it in a particular path or direction. So once you're done with this, I'm going for layer 3 and bring this layer 3 below the path. Immediately the path will change into this particular icon and you can give whatever object you want to insert it inside it. As for my layer 3, it is going to act as a card. Before going into that, my background will be insert frame as it is going to be static. And the car and path frame, I'm just going to bring the car inside it. As this particular car is in PNG format, I have just dragged it directly inside my stage. Or you can just create whatever objects you need and do convert it into one PNG format without a background. As you can see, I'm resizing the car with the help of free transform and I'm just going to place the anchor point where the path is going to start like this. So at timeline 0, this is how the card is going to be placed. And now come for timeline 40. For both the frames, you can give insert keyframe. So at the card layer, timeline 0, the card is going to start here. At timeline 40, I'm just going to bring it towards the end of my path. And in 0, at 40, it is going to look like that. Click in between and go for the option called create classic twin and just give an OK. So now as you can see the card is moving along the path like this. And now you can click this car timeline 0 keyframe and go for properties and there you will have an option called orient to path which is nothing but whatever objects you are going to create it will follow the path according to the ups and downs you have created with the help of the path option. And here we can just visible it. This is how the car animation will look at the final output with the help of motion guide option and with the help of path animation in Adobe Animate CC software. So now we have come to end of today's vlog. In the upcoming vlogs, I will be teaching you about how to use Adobe Animate in a professional manner with all kind of sub animation option and all kind of other effects too. Hope you people found it interesting and educative too. If so, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet you in a next interesting vlog with the same software. Until then, take care.